Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Habiba. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel. In this video, I will be showing you guys wedding guest makeup tutorial. I went to a wedding some weeks ago and I got inspired to do this video. So this is a full face, full glam makeup tutorial and I hope that you guys enjoy it. My brows were done off camera because I didn't want this video to be too long. So I just got done applying moisturizer and letting it seep into my skin. Next, what you see me doing here is I'm applying a primer. It's a mattifying primer. And I'm going to be placing that all over my face. Just like how I did with the primer. And next is foundation. So I'm mixing two shades. I will be listing the products in the description box. The two shades I mixed are 330 and 355, so I'm just blending that into my skin. So I make sure not to touch my brows, I apply that over my brows just in case for those wondering how I do my skin after doing brows. This is how I do it. I'm just very careful around the brow areas and then just blend everything, including under my jaw, under my neck, and see the difference now. This concealer I'm using the Nuban Beauty Concealer in the shade 43 so I'm just going to be putting that underneath my both of my eyes around my mouth on my chin along my nose and my forehead so how I blend is I start from the outer part of the concealer I blend that out and I blend the sides of my nose and then I go into the center and I start to blend that outward Just make sure there are no harsh lines so it blend out the edges very well. For the corners of my mouth, I blend that upwards towards my upper lip area. Taking it upwards towards the sides of my nose, making sure that the concealer gets into that little um, crook area that is in between the nose and the face. forehead i do the same thing as my chin after applying i just blend out the center to spread it out then i start to blend the edges to just smooth it into my forehead so that there won't be any harsh line applying so whatever is left on my beauty blender i just go over that along my jaw where i'm going to be baking later on just to brighten it up <music> So here I'm applying setting powder along my jawline from my ear to close to the corner of my mouth. This gives like a reverse contour effect. It shows you where you're supposed to be contouring and I'm not going to let this bake for too long. Uh, you see me, I'm going to be um, clearing out very soon. So what I'm going to allow to bake is my under eye and along the bridge of my nose. So you see me applying certain powder under my eye and I bring it downward towards like the um, third half of my nose for both sides. I'm applying face powder on my neck so that it doesn't look different. Next, I'm just going to be patting in that certain powder that I applied on my jawline. When it disappears, then I'll go over with face powder. I'm using the V Beauty in the shade Cream Caramel. So that is what you see me patting into the rest of my face, excluding the parts that I am baking. Just my forehead, everywhere else except my under eye and over my nose. <laughs> Next step is contour. So how I do my contour is I start with my forehead because I don't want too much contouring on my forehead. So I contour the sides of my forehead, blending it upwards. When it's not enough, I add more. And then I contour my cheeks, under my cheeks to be precise. 
Doing the reverse contour has already given me an outline of where I should apply my contour, so it's pretty easy from here. Next, I am going to be applying eyeshadow. So, but first, I'm going to be blending out the concealer I used to do my brows. So, I'm just blending it out and mixing it in with the ones that I applied under my brows. <music> After blending the concealer properly, I'm going to be going in with setting powder to just set all that concealer in place on the parts that I'm not going to be applying eyeshadow primer. So next, this is me applying eyeshadow primer over my eyelid only on the parts that I'm going to be applying shimmery eyeshadow. You have to make sure that your placement of the primer is the same shape as the eyeshadow that you want, not bigger or smaller. And now I am just placing the eyeshadow that I want. I'm using a yellowish gold eyeshadow for today. So you just see me packing that on with a flat brush over my eyelid, over all the parts that I applied eyeshadow primer. Next, I'm going to be contouring my crease. I'm using a light brown shade first. I start in a motion that looks like I am applying cut liner, and then from there, I just blend that upwards into my crease and add more products just to intensify the um, transition color. This is our transition color. I'm going to be adding a darker brown later. <music> Like I said, I'm adding a darker brown color in between the transition and the shimmery color at the edge of my eye. This gives the eyeshadow a totally different transformed look. So that is what I'm doing, applying that dark brown and then I'm blending it towards half of the eyelid. I'm not taking it all the way in. So last step, just to blend out the edges, I'm using that brush with the setting powder without any product on it to just blend out the edges. For nose contour, I start from my brows, I blend that into my eyeshadow, the brown part of the eyeshadow, and then I bring the brush downwards, that's how I do my nose contour. Now you see me trying to blend out the setting powder in between the nose, and then I'm applying face powder onto that side and on my forehead. <music> That done next is I'm going to be pressing in that setting powder on my face. I'm not sweeping it away, I'm just pressing it in just to make my under eye very bright and to set the concealer in place. So, next, I'm just using a brush to blend out the edges of my shadow. It was looking too harsh, I wanted to soften it. So, now you see me applying face powder onto my under eyes just to bring back my natural color. And I'm just going to apply that too also under my jaw just to brighten it up and make the contour pop even more. For lips, I'm using these two shades, a maroon and a dark pink shade. I have never used the dark pink. This is the first time I'm using it. And this is how I line my lips. I decided to just use the one directly because I wanted a lot of um, product. I wanted the liner to be very dark. So I just start from the cupid bow. Then I draw it downwards. And also for the lower lip, I start from inside of my mouth. And I follow my natural lip line. And this is how it looks for one side. Liner is done. Next, I am applying that dark pink lipstick it looks like red but it's not red it's a dark pink color and and it's a very nice combination if you don't want to do red so yeah i love how this lipstick turned out you can also try it please please let me know what you think about this entire look in the comment section and yeah please subscribe again i'm saying it <laughs>for lipstick i don't know why i was spouting but next is blush and i'm applying this dark pink shade from the girls night out <clears throat> palette and it's a lovely shade after that is highlighter and setting spray and we are good to go i 
lighter and first i'm applying this pinky shade called cider after that i'm going to be applying my normal highlighter called sun on top of that because the pinky shade is the same shade as my blush and i didn't want my brush to wash away the blush at the point that i apply my highlighter if you get so that's why i was applying the pink one before the um sand colored one so for my nose and the tip of my nose i'm also using this sand shade and this is me applying setting spray kiss beauty makeup fix setting spray and voila <music> That is the finished look next i'm going to be showing you guys the turban style a very very easy turban you can do for eid and also for weddings also it's super easy so first step you have to make your scarf or hair tie into a triangle and fold the front part then you place it on your forehead like how you saw me do and then you um divide it into section at behind your head you could tie it or you couldn't. I didn't want to tie it because it's going to make this tie very chunky at the back. So I didn't tie it. I just took one of the um edges or what was this called? One of the tails, flattened it, smoothened it out. And then I placed it at the front and I tucked in the rest at the back. I'll be doing that for the second, um, second side also. And you see me crossing that over and making a V at the side of my face. And then I'm tucking that also in very easy. And what is left in the back, I'm just going to make like a O shape with that at the back. And I'll be using office pin to just pin it in. Simple and easy. Your turban is ready and you are ready to go to your wedding and party on. So guys, this is the finished look. If you are still here at this point, please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, tell me what you would like to see from me more and I will make sure to make that video. See you in my next one.